Hey, this is Chris from the Ticket Stub. You're listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZW LP Conroe and 106.1 KZCC LP Conroe and worldwide on IRLoneStar.com. You know, I'm just trying to get it together here. <laughs> and we are live in downtown Conroe at uh, Lone Star Community Radio. And we're excited to talk about Taste of the Town today. That event is happening January 16th with the Woodlands Chamber at the Waterway Marriott. And we expect to have 3,000 people there, and you are one of them. So be prepared. But before we get into that, and I tell you about all the guests, because I've got Megan here, who's the event director at the Woodlands Area Chamber of Commerce. Um, I also have one of the great food bloggers here, and that is uh, Meta Arkilla. We will hear from Enterprise, Jim Crowder, Laurel Williams from Bayway Cadillac that just opened up, uh, I think in the last week, and... Um, we're going to, and this is all sponsored by Roger Stein Chiropractic at 3303 West Davis by Conroe High School. So a few things that are going on. If you come outside here on Main Street, you can see that they're working on the renovations for the Crichton Theater. And it is an older building and it needs some renovating. They're expanding their lobby. They're putting another bathroom downstairs. They're doing all these good things, but it started today. And so they will be basically shut down and not in service um, until their next performance, which will happen uh, with Thoroughly Modern Millie, the musical Thoroughly Modern Millie, Friday, February 14th, Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day, it will open with that. But, of course, the Owen Theater with the Player Theater Company will be hosting uh, Arsenic and Old Lace starting January 24th for three consecutive weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. So you can still have entertainment. Of course, there's music any day of the week in downtown Conroe, starting with the Gospel Sunday Brunch at the Red Brick Tavern. You can go to the Corner Pub Monday through through Saturday and get live music at no cover charge, or you can go to Pacific Yard House with maybe a $10 cover charge and see some great bands. So in fact, Miss Leslie will take the stage at the Red Brick Tavern on Friday, and you can hear Iron Rations at the Corner Pub with a little bit of country and rock, and uh, Pacific Yard House Pacific Yard House will host the uh, group of the Rickies that play a little bit of mix of Smashing Pumpkins, Tom Petty, Rolling Stones, Johnny ba Journey, Bad Company, and Fleetwood Mac. So they will have a $10 cover for that, and that's Pacific Yard House on Saturday. So there's music every day of the week in downtown Conroe. And, of course, you can eat. Lots of eateries, lots of places to shop. It's after Christmas. There's great sales across the street from me at Sweet Texas Treasures. And they're still their window's still decorated very cute. Looks like Candyland outside. You can go to the Assistance League and help nonprofits in Montgomery County. You can shop at Mimi's on Main and so many more. Even the bike shop next door to us. So with that, we're going to roll into our guests and talk about Taste of the Town that, again, is happening on Thursday, January 16th with the Woodlands Area Chamber of Commerce. And that will be at the Waterway Marriott from 4 to 8, 4 to 9. 4 to 9 p.m. So you can just eat for hours. You can eat and drink for hours. <laughs> so pace yourself. So Megan, tell me about Taste of the Town. Taste of the Town is one of my favorite events here in the community. If you are a foodie, if you love food, this is the perfect event for you. It's basically a big food festival. Um, we're going to have over 40 restaurants present mm -hmm. and they're going to be serving appetizers, entrees, desserts, and you can sample all of it. Unlimited samples. Unlimited. Unlimited. You can keep coming back. Um, we have a wide variety of cuisine. We're going to have barbecue, seafood. Um, we're going to have, let's see, what other kinds are here? Um, Mexican. We're going to have Italian. It's unlimited. Barbecue. Good company. Yes. Gringo's. Johnny's Italian Steakhouse. Kirby Steakhouse. There's a lot of great places. And what's really also phenomenal is we have five celebrity judges. And one of them is sitting here with us. Right, Meta? Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> a blessing. Yes. Yeah, so I, I know you're excited about this. That was actually a lot of fun. Um, a lot of work for some of us. But it was a lot of fun. And they're being judged in five different categories, I believe. 
We're going to have awards for best appetizer, best entree, best dessert. So there will be three. That's what the judges will be um, selecting their tops for. But then there's also a people's choice yes. so where you guys as the attendee can come and vote on your very favorite. And how do they do that? Um, each person that comes in is going to get a little wooden token. From there, you can go around, like I said, sample all the cuisine. When you find your favorite, you're going to drop that token into the jar. At the end of the night, we're going to tabulate it. And then we're going to see uh, That's who fun. the people chose. That's fun. So... Um, who sponsored the token? Oh, um, it is actually a renewal by Anderson. All oh, right, um, they are the ones that are going to be be doing that for us. So it's really exciting. It's brand new to Taste of the Town this year. The window people, <laughs> yes. Uh, window replacement. That's, That's what they right. specialize in. Yes, so, they do. Um, this is brand new, <laughs> a new way for us to kind of tabulate those votes. We're really excited for that. So we have some presenting sponsors too. One of them is sitting here directly across from me, right? So I have Jim Crowder with Enterprise. Yes. And tell me why you guys decided to be a presenting sponsor for Taste of the Town. Well, um, once again, this is Jim Crowder. I'm the director of business rental sales for Enterprise Holdings, which is Enterprise and National Car Rental, along with many other brands. Um, but really, the reason we decided to sponsor the Taste of the Woodlands, or the Taste of the Town this year, is because of our great partnership we've had with the Woodlands Chamber of Commerce for the last three years. Um, our company, a lot of our employees, a lot of our customers, a lot of our clients are very involved in the Woodlands Chamber, and it's a great organization for us to get involved in the community, which is also a very important part of our business and a part of our company goals. Um, so we, we really decided to look at this as an opportunity to really get out in front of the, the North Houston, Woodlands area, Conroe area community. It is a great let, way. Let people know that uh, we're not just a car rental company any longer. We're more of a mobility uh, company that provides total transportation solutions. Um, that's why we're going to be bringing out five different vehicles uh, to what display. What kind of vehicles? Uh, we're going to bring out uh, three exotic vehicles. So what does exotic sports, mean? Sports cars. <laughs> um, we're more than likely going to have an Audi R8 out there, um, a Maserati Ooh. Gran Turismo, um, and then we'll see what our, our third one is going to be from an exotic side. But we're also going to bring out a 15-foot box truck and a luxury high-end uh, large pickup truck. Uh, which okay, a lot of something people, for everybody. Something for everybody, which is what we really offer. And not a lot of people realize that we do all of those types of things. Everything from an hourly car rental to a long-term lease. Hourly? Yeah, it, that's our car share division. And huh. then we do everything from uh, a compact car to a 15-passenger van to a full-size box truck and everything in between. So how many locations do you have in Montgomery County? In Montgomery County, I believe we have eight locations. Wow, that's uh, a lot. We are about so to accessible. Op- yes, we're about to open our third location in the Woodlands in the Creekside area. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe it's opening this Friday. Uh, that's okay. what wow. we're shooting for. So That's good news. Um, we're continuing to expand. We have over 200 locations in the Houston area um, and everything from car rental to truck rental and fleet management and everything in between. And you guys are accessible at the airports as well. Accessible at the airports. Uh, we're sponsoring the uh, Taste of the Town as the combined power of Enterprise and National, which is Enterprise Rent-A-Car and National Car Rental. Um, oh, okay. And all part of the parent okay. company called Enterprise Holdings. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's part of the reason we're doing it this way. It's, well, uh, I think we, that's great. That, so that's can they see. test drive a car while at the Marriott? They, they cannot <laughs> test drive a car while at the Marriott. Oh, but darn they it will all. Be able to, no bumper cars no or bumper anything cars. like that? No. Yeah, we, the, the hotel doesn't really allow us to do much bumper cars. That could cars. add a whole new experience right, yes. to it right um, however we do have frazzle have, megan probably but <laughs> <laughs> yes, please no we do have some great uh, programs in place that we can help people get uh, get great deals on rental cars on leasing vehicles on whatever they need for personal use for business use mm-hmm. any kind of transportation needs they need we can come up with solutions for them so do you have to be 25 years of age to rent a car? That is, that is a myth is? as well. You do That's not have to be 25 to rent a car. Um, technically, or for the most part, you have to be 21 or older. Okay. Um, typically, that's because of some insurance laws, but uh, we do rent to 21 to 25 as well. Okay. Um, and those, those are the kinds that. of solutions that we can provide that a lot of people don't necessarily think about. Okay, what else do I not know that you'd like to share? <laughs> so far, you've hit on a couple things. This well, is a great opportunity. You know, one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is that uh, Enterprise Holdings is actually the world's largest car rental provider. Uh, we're operating all of our rental brands through an integrated global network of independent regional subsi- subsidiaries and franchises in over 100 countries. Hmm. We have over 100,000 employees. We have over 10,000 locations. And, uh, we're, I did we're, not know that. We're really more of a mobility c- 
company now as opposed to a car rental company. And a lot of people Tell don't realize that. Tell me about that. that. Why, do you, why do you say that? Uh, well, we started as a car rental company, but we've evolved into more of a mobility uh, solutions provider where we provide everything from uh, for, for a company, all of their transportation needs locally, globally, or, na or nationally. And we can provide all different kinds of different brands under that, from Enterprise Rent a Car to National Car Rental, our exotic car collection by Enterprise, our Enterprise Car Share brand, uh, Commute by Enterprise, which is a partnership with the Metro Van Pool program here in town. Hmm. It's also a nationwide uh, commute solution. Very interesting. Um, we have our Enterprise Fleet Management Division, our Enterprise Truck Rental Division, um, and then Enterprise Car Sales as well. Where we Y'all are busy. We have three uh, Enterprise Car Sales locations in the Houston market where we sell to the general public as well. So okay. Really, we're not gently driven cars. Gently driven cars, yes. So we're uh, we're really more of a total transportation solution wow. provider than we are a car rental company. So if somebody were traveling out of the country, say in Paris or somewhere, they could rent a car from you. They for could that? from Enterprise or National. That's um, interesting. We have both brands globally. We also have our Alamo brand, which is our retail brand. Mm -hmm. So any of those three brands is available anywhere in the globe. Wow. That's good information. That is. And also, um, tying back to Taste the Town, you guys are actually bringing out a restaurant on your behalf as well, correct? We are. Uh, so because of the way we decided to do this this year and part of the sponsorship, we have partnered <clears throat> with the Butler House. Um, so they will be providing food of some kind. I'm not sure if they're doing appetizers or entrees or desserts, but they're going to be at our booth with us providing food as well. We looked at it as an opportunity for us mm -hmm. to partner with another restaurant. It's always good to partner with others That's right. in the community. That's the best way to do it. That's right. That's right. Makes it more solid. Yeah. Share the knowledge. We're excited. I'm excited to be there again this year. This will be my third time going, and I'm excited to vote again. You know, vote yes. for the best <laughs> restaurant. Right. What yeah. did you like best about last year? Um, honestly, I think the thing I liked the best about it was just all the different types of food. I mean, it's... Mm -hmm. I, did you have a favorite is, uh, you want to share? <laughs> Put uh, them you on know, I'm not going to do that since I'm partnering with somebody this year. But, well, they uh, weren't there last year, were they? <laughs> I don't think I don't so. Think no, they, were, they weren't, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> there were too many to pick There from. was too many to pick Did from. you try desserts? We tried desserts, tried entrees, tried appetizers, tried drinks. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's one of the best things about this event is it's so diverse. It's, it, you get to try everything, and you get mm -hmm. to try so many different restaurants. And you see a lot of people. And a lot of people. That My first year going, I was really It's a sh social shocked. extravaganza yes. as well. Yes, it is. So. It is. And that's why we see that it's a, a great opportunity for us to showcase our brands and our, that's our company at this event. So. Very good. I'm excited about that. Okay, well, let's talk about the restaurants that are participating. Mm -hmm. So I have a list of some, and I'm sure there's more. Uh, you have Avenida Brazil, which is going to host the VIP uh, this, uh, reception. Yes. Reception so for this sponsors, Wednesday for sponsors. Uh, we host a reception as a thank you, and Jim will be coming as yeah. well. Um, but yes, um, Avenida is actually sponsoring that for us. So um, we're going to be at their establishment. It's great. It's right there in the woodlands. I love Avenida. It's very um, good. Have you so, eaten there so before, fun. Meta? Hit list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's good. It's good. It's very good. <laughs> they actually are um, one of the past winners of the Best of Taste competition. Mm -hmm. So um, they're always a favorite booth at the at the restaurant. Oh, yes. They always uh, have a line. Event. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so we're really excited for them. Um, we have a couple of seafood places. We have Babins. We have Landry's. Um, Landry's has participated in this event for over 20 mm -hmm. years. Um, and they continue to come back year after year after year. And they're so, so excited to be back. Um, they're always a crowd favorite um, as well. So we have Landry's. Um, we also have Chinese. We have P.F. Chang's that's going to come on out. Um, but we have new restaurants. So we have the restaurants that are our um, supporters year after year. But we have brand new ones. And that's what I really like about the event is that, like you said, it's always diverse, but there's always something <clears throat> new. Mm -hmm. um, this year, we're going to have Pelly Pelly. Um, they just opened up, so they're going to be coming to Taste of the Town. Um, we also have um, Laconia. Uh, they do olive oil, so they're going to be there oh, yes. as well. They're at the Home and Garden shows, too. <laughs> I will be there. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, we also have uh, a juice company. That's brand new. Oh, um, so that? not only will you be able to sample um, food and also our, our beverages, but um, it's called Clean Juice. And so it's a juicing company. So you can come on out, sample them. You can even purchase the beverages if you like one of the juices. Um, I know with New Year's, we all have new goals and new aspirations. And so oh, yes. if you want to do so, it'll be right there <laughs> available for you. So we have a juice Wonderful. company coming out, um, a, a ton of different companies. We're really, really excited um, for a talent 
Italian, we have Nona's, um, we have Rodinare, um, lots of different ones. We also have um, breakfast companies, the Toasted Yolk, um, a huge, huge variety. So um, if you can't decide what to do for dinner, just come on out to the Marriott on the And 16th. your family can come too. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's kid friendly. Uh, we have uh, child's tickets available as well. Um, so we'll have, have a lot of things for, for them to go, go do and see. Okay. Well, we're going to take a quick break, and we will be right back to hear more about Taste of the Town from my celebrity guests here today. Awesome. I'm Margie Taylor, and this is uh, sponsored by Roger Stein Chiropractic. We'll be right back. Since 2004, Roger Stein Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936 441 9990 for an appointment or visit rogersteinchiropractic.com. That's R-O-D-G-E-R-S-S-T-E-I-N, chiropractic.com. Texas Joe Bailey here, spokesman for Love Your Veterans. It's our mission to shine light on our forgotten heroes, and you too can show your support by joining us at the Love Your Veterans Montgomery County Christmas Market, December 5th and 6th at Bull Solace Park. Activities for the kids such as photos with Santa and the Grinch, a marketplace to find amazing Christmas gifts, and it's all for a great cause. Learn more at loveyourveterans.org. Vendor registration is currently open. Hope to see you there. Hey guys, this is Connor. This is Dick. This is Chris. And we're with the Ticket Stub Podcast every Thursday live at noon on 104.5 and 106.1 FM in the Conroe area. Also, anytime at IRLoneStar.com. You go to IRLoneStar.com backslash TTS. You can find all of our social media. And don't forget, we give away two tickets to the Grand Theater on every show. If you like movies and you like complaining or celebrating anything that has to do with the silver screen, Check out the Ticket Stub podcast and join us every Thursday at noon o'clock on Lone Star Community Radio. Lone Star Community Radio is looking for those who are interested in hosting their own talk show with monthly and weekly slots available in Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1, and on IRLoneStar.com. Start your own podcast, create your first YouTube channel, and be on TV. Contact Lone Star Community Radio online at IRLoneStar.com or call the station message line at 936-647-3776 to take your first step into the radio world. And we are back. I'm your host, Margie Taylor, and we are talking about Taste of the Town. It's happening January 16th, Wednesday from 4 to 9. Thursday, sorry. It's the day after my birthday, just saying. <laughs> so That's how my birthday is the 15th, it's 16th, it's Thursday, 49 at the Waterway Marriott. This is the 34th year. Mm -hmm. So you know it's a good event if it's had 34 years. And, you know, it's just an array of great food. You have to pace yourself. You don't want to eat it all at once. you got to take little bites, go socialize, have a few more bites. I would hit your favorites that you want to hit first because See, there will probably be a long line. So let's talk about um, the judging. So we have five celebrity judges. Meta, you want to tell us a little bit about them? Absolutely. Uh, and and it, yourself, too. Uh, Why are you doing this? <laughs> I am doing this uh, as a great food adventure and experience. Uh, I love new things. Uh, and to be alongside some of these celebrity guest judges is uh, an absolute blessing. Uh, so we have Nick Rama with Nick's Local Eats and several area food groups, a uh, huge supporter of the local community and charities. Uh, we have Kerry Stessel. He is uh, an amazing man. He also has a Hotline Pepper Products. Uh, I've never known a gentler soul in the, in the food community and uh, just well-respected, I think, all the way around. Uh, I am also looking forward to getting uh, to know better two judges. 
uh, Shane, who is with the Texas Bucket List. Um, I've seen him, watched him, loved him, so it'll be good to shake a hand and get to know that face and that personality. And then last, we have uh, food and travel writer Francine. Again, uh, a new hand to shake and uh, just well-respected, and I look forward to serving alongside these great and people. And she's with Edible Houston, too. She is with Edible Houston. I've been to her events, uh, love them, well-constructed, and another huge supporter of the community. So there you go. We have five judges who are going to judge for best dessert, best appetizer, and best entree. Best entree. How did I miss that one? <gasps> yes. So last year, who won last year? Do you have that information? I could probably pull it up. Yeah. Um, I believe on the top of my head, we had Broken Barrel. She actually won for the second year in a row. Uh, she won best appetizer. Mm -hmm. um, twice so she's probably rooting for a third that's so, right so <laughs> barrel, that's probably, right. she has something great I, I can't imagine um and then we also had um robards they won best dessert that was amazing dessert yes and so we um we have a lot of past winners like we mentioned earlier avenita won two years ago so everybody's back in the running um to see what what will come about this year and and uh who will win but yes it's three categories um and that's what we really rely on the judges for um the restaurants will come on up up, um, they'll go ahead and they get to pick what category they want to enter in. If they want to enter in best appetizer, best entree, or dessert, then they'll go on up. Um, they'll showcase it to the judges, and then you guys take it from there. How do you judge the food? Uh, for me, it is based on uh, several different elements. Uh, the visual composition would be one. Uh, we eat with our eyes first, correct? Uh, the next I look for is uh, a little bit of that explosion in your mouth where the flavors are just absolutely married. So not one element to do without the other. Uh, I also look for a, um, a uh, I guess, a where all the senses collide, right? So you've got your vision, uh, how it feels, how it tastes, how it, you know, just everything all together. Uh, it's, it's not about the name. It is absolutely about what they can produce. And uh, supporting these uh, these local shops is just a blessing. It's fun. Yes, yeah. it's a lot so of fun. So they will have three categories to judge on? Yes. And one through five? Something like that? Yeah, um, so you guys, uh, you're going to have three different categories, but what we have them um, do, we're, we, we still want to get your opinion on how we should do this, mm -hmm. but in the past it's been um, creativity and appearance. Mm -hmm. It's been obviously taste. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then um, there's also been um, the whole presentation, almost like the aroma to it. Does it Correct. smell appetizing? For the senses. Right. Uh, and, and I do look for that. I'm, I'm not a mainstream uh, eater where uh, just, you know, your simple chicken and waffles unless you've got that sucker elevated give me something i haven't <laughs> tried before mm -hmm. give me make something make it phenomenal make it absolutely phenomenal knock it out of the park um and and that's really kind of what i look for as well is are you offering something that hasn't been done before and if it has been done before how are you offering that that can take it to the next level and we know that these chefs are absolutely acclaimed and they bring their a games so uh just knowing that uh this is going to be heightened on every level is exciting. Mm -hmm. it is. is it is it tempting to want to take another bite of something, but yet you're pacing yourself so you don't want to? And do you like? Yeah, that's put my question. Aside? How do you? Yeah. How do you? How feel do you like that was really good, but I got all these others, so I'm just going to hold yes. this right here, Margie. Don't yep. touch it and take it away from me. <laughs> that kind of thing. No, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so. and, and and that's tempting anywhere, right? So I've sat on other judging panels before, but also as a consumer, uh, which by the way, this is a fantastic price point for the quality and the quantity that they're getting. Come on, folks, 35, 40 bucks to eat your life way and, and, and it's a perfect opportunity <laughs> to right. sample things that you love treadmills down the hall <laughs> absolutely supporting craft grill peli peli thistle i mean the the list is endless uh, but also to try something new that you haven't had before and i've heard a couple of those names so i'm excited uh but yes uh, it is hard to pace yourself especially when you hit that pivotal point where it's so good you just want to eat it <laughs> So. Okay, well, we're going to have to be in alignment where I know where to get the stuff off the table <laughs> and right. don't touch it. That's we'll right. have different areas. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, uh, Cleverly Stone kept me in check last year. Yep. So, you know, I had to make sure I had the water, the napkins, and when was your first time doing it, too. So Yeah, you know. it was. So that was a great learning experience. I'm just going to follow you around. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You'll yeah. know where, you, where to go from there. So, yeah, and everybody does bring their A game, and some of them come with demonstrations. So. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, pretty pretty phenomenal. 
Uh, so there's still sponsorships available, though, too, aren't there? Yes. Uh, so we have two sponsorships available. Um, they are called a table host or a cocktail table mm-hmm. host. This is perfect for the businesses that aren't food related. So if you're a, a small business, even you know medium size, all the way up to large, um, what these two sponsorships are are that you basically sponsor a table or a cocktail table at the event. You're able to bring all of your promotional material, all of your marketing material, um, display that. If you have um, any little giveaways you want to bring, you're more than welcome to do that as well. And you really just get to interact with the attendees that are all there. So if you want to get your name out to over 3,000 people, we have our table and our cocktail table. Um, that ranges from 100 to $200. So it's a really great price point um, to showcase your company to, to thousands all in one night. So if you go to tasteofthetown.org, you can find all this information, and your email is on there too, yes, Megan. everything's right um, there. Of course, you can always go to the staff and ask any of the staff if you can't reach Megan and she's busy, like, getting ready for the event or something. Anybody <laughs> will help you, or you can send me a message at, at Taylor Eyes PR and let me know, and I will make sure that uh, you get connected with what you need. So uh, those are 100 to $200 levels. Who are the sponsors that you have right now? Do you have a list of those sponsors? Yeah, so we have a lot of companies. You know, I really do want to thank you, Jim, for being one of our presenting underwriters. Um, I'm really excited to have your vehicles come on out. I, I'll i admit, I don't think I've ever seen a Maserati in person. So I'm really excited. <laughs> you can excited. get inside the vehicles? You can get inside the vehicles, Oh, even yes. better. Yes. I'll take some pictures. And the keys yes. will be there? The keys will be there, but not with the car. <laughs> Someone else. Um, okay. So we want to thank you for that. Um, we also have America ZR. Um, they are sponsoring our VIP lounge at the event. So we kind of have exclusive access for all of our top sponsors in there. Um, she makes it fabulous. Um, she even has private waiters in there that will go and get right. food samples for you. So you don't have to wait in those lines if you don't want to. So um, thank you to America ZR for that. Uh, we also have Pepsi. Uh, they're one of our gourmet sponsors sponsors for this event, they are actually donating all of the uh, soda for this event. And not just soda, but um, iced teas, lemonade. So they do a fantastic job. We have vitamin water and all of this comes with admission with your ticket. So not only do you get unlimited samples of food, but you also get um, Pepsi products. You'll also get water, iced teas, lemonade. So really when they say mm-hmm. eat and drink as much as you want, you we have that available as and well. And wasn't it uh, two free beer tickets as well? Yes. Uh, so we also have um, beverage sponsors there as well. Mm -hmm. Um, We will have about 10 beer companies coming on out. Um, I know um, they come out every single year. It's really exciting. I know they'll have St. Arnold's. Um, In the past, it's also been Dos Equis. Also, local breweries will be there. Stella. Yes, Stella. That one goes really fast. Carbock. Carbock. Thank you. Um, They also are going to have um, Spike Seltzer and uh, Spike Cider. So if beer isn't really your thing, we'll have those there uh, as well. And there will be some wine this year, which is really exciting. We'll have that there as well. So yes, that does come with your two tickets. Um, We also have Cantex. They're also one of our gourmet um, chef sponsors. So we really want to thank them. And um, we also have an entertainment sponsor, which is Johnson Development Company. They do it every single year. And they have an awesome display inside the ballroom. So we're really excited to see that once again and um, something that we started last year that we had great feedback from um, we had a shopping bag sponsor so a lot of these restaurants will hand out promo material and where do you keep it all you're trying Mm -hmm. to balance your plate and your drink and so this year we have a a shopping bag sponsor and it's care now urgent care um, and they have uh, decided to do that once again so we're excited to have that that's cool so any last thoughts jim uh, well, just as many people come out as possible, it's going to be a great event. This is my third time going to this, and it's been a, a, just a fun event. Uh, it was a lot more fun than I expected it to be when I first went to it. <laughs> It'll be even better now ago. that you're a presenting sponsor, <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly. It'll be even better so. now that we're sponsoring. So come out and support the Woodlands Chamber and Sign the community. Sign up to and all drive the, the a Maserati later. Later, yes. Later. Yes. We'll help you. We'll help everybody with that. <laughs> How awesome. Okay, we're going to take another break and uh, bring on another guest. Uh, so we will be right back. And I am Margie Taylor, and it's sponsored by Roger Stein Chiropractic. Does your company have needs that can be met by an employee who is dependable, hardworking, enthusiastic, motivated, cooperative, respectful, and punctual? Conroe Independent School District at Special Education Department can meet your needs by connecting you with potential employees that have been preparing for a lifetime of employment. We have numerous individuals seeking paid and unpaid work experiences. If your company is interested in seeing how we can meet your business needs, call Conroe ISD Special Education Department to find the best employees for you at 936-709-7671.
Since 2004, Roger Stein Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936 441 9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R O D G E R S S T E I N chiropractic.com. Lone Star Community Radio is Montgomery County's radio station with talk, music, weather, and traffic for Montgomery County. Have a question, comment about one of our shows? Want to know how to reach a host? Just contact the station on IRLoneStar.com or call in and leave a message at 936-647-3776. Get involved with your community with Lone Star Community Radio. Lone Star Community Radio is looking for those who are interested in hosting their own talk show with monthly and weekly slots available on Conroe's FM 104.5 and 106.1 and on IRLoneStar.com. Start your own podcast, create your first YouTube channel, and be on TV. Contact Lone Star Community Radio online at IRLoneStar.com or call the station message line at 936-647-3776. Path to the Plate is a research-based education program that helps consumers understand how their food choices impact their health by making the connection to agriculture. Learning about how food is grown and produced and how consumers can make better food choices for themselves and their families, Path to the Plate is all about dispelling myths and misconceptions. Find out more online at pathtothepleate.tamu.edu. We are Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, helping Texans make their lives better. Since 2004, Roger Stein Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936 441 9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R O D G E R S S T E I N chiropractic.com. Don't forget to download the Lone Star Community Radio app for your Google Play or Apple Store. Bring Montgomery County's Community Radio with you anywhere with your smartphone or tablet. If you are in the Conroe area, tune in on FM. That is Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1. Listen in Mondays at noon to hear Conroe news from local nonprofits, businesses, upcoming events, Conroe Park events, news stories, and information that matters to you with your host, Margie Taylor of Taylorized PR. For more information about being a guest, visit IRLoneStar.com slash Conroe Culture. Since 2004, Roger Stein Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936-441-9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R-O-D-G-E-R-S-S-T-E-I-N, chiropractic.com. A Lone Star Community Radio is Montgomery County's radio station with talk, 
music, weather, and traffic for Montgomery County. Have a question or comment about one of our shows? Want to know how to reach a host? Just contact the station at IRLoneStar.com or call in and leave a message at 936-647-3776. Get involved with your community with Lone Star Community Radio. Hello, and we are back. I'm Margie Taylor with Conroe Culture News. And again, we are from downtown Conroe, Lone Star Community Radio, FM 104.5, 106.1, and live streaming at IRLoneStar.com. So we are bringing on Laurel Williams of Bayway Cadillac. Laurel, are you there? I am. How are you doing, Margie? Great. So I'm glad we can connect with you. Uh, This is so exciting. We are uh, very pleased that you are one of our presenting sponsors with Bayway Cadillac of the Woodlands. And y'all just opened, didn't you? We did. We just opened a day before Christmas. And we've been working under one roof for several months. Um, We just um, switched over to the Bayway Cadillac name at the end of December. So we've been official for now exactly one year. But it was so awesome to know that this is the first freestanding Cadillac dealership that's been built in over 25 years. So it's very exciting for the Woodlands. Wow, that is a big deal. That's very nice. We're excited to have you and the vehicles over at the Marriott on Thursday, uh, January 16th. Are you excited about that? Oh, I'm very delighted about it. And we'll be bringing out um, a few of our vehicles, of course. Um, The XT6, which is our new third row crossover that's been getting a lot of buzz around town. Um, It's definitely competing with a lot of other um, American and import brands. And um, they've got an excellent price point. Our CTSV, which is kind of um, really when you say that word, people know automatically it's a fast car. It's definitely the sports car that Cadillac has um, done so well with for many, many years now. And our Escalade, traditionally, everybody knows about that vehicle. And then we also have our new XT4 that's new also. That's been out now for one full year, and it's at an exciting price point. It's becoming more and more affordable to not only um, you know many of us, even some of the younger adults as well. Well, I think it's very exciting. I'm excited to see the new Cadillacs and uh, especially those that could be smaller because, you know, I drive a Mini Cooper. So (laughs) I like the smaller cars better, not anything huge. So I'm excited to see that. You're bringing out five vehicles in? Yes. That's right. That's right. And um, at least that way, everyone will get a chance to see a little bit of everything from your sports cars to your compact SUVs and family vehicles as well. Um, Cadillac has definitely evolved over the years. I'm very, very excited to be a part of it. Well, that's a big brand name, Cadillac. I remember uh, my grandmother used to buy a new Cadillac every year. Every year? Every year. (laughs) Back in the day. I I test drove and got my license in a Cadillac. So I have uh, memories of that growing up in uh, Southern California. So I'm excited to see this. And can you tell me, why did y'all decide to sponsor A Taste of the Town? Oh, well, it's a a definitely exciting event. Um, We've been involved with some of our other Bayway locations with the Taste of the Town. And um, we're very excited now that we have the opportunity to do that. Um, We certainly want everybody to know that we're here. And and definitely also it gives everybody an opportunity to come out, taste some food, have some drinks, and just have a good time. It's a good casual atmosphere. Right. And we we want to continue to give back to a lot of um, these different organizations and venues and things that are going on around town. And that's what it's all about, just community and getting to know people and letting them know that we're here for them. What is your favorite Cadillac? Oh, my goodness. That's a hard one, Margie. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually do own an Escalade. And prior to working for Cadillac, we have owned three in the past. So um, they, those were CTSs. Um, I would have to say the Escalade is probably my favorite. You know, we're not, um, our kids are grown, but um, it is a very strong, it kind of really shows that you've kind of arrived, you know, to me, right. like, you know, whether in any line of business or what you do, um, it just has that catalog. It just signifies so much. Success. That you just really accomplished. Right. Exactly. A success that you've accomplished so much. And um, we have clients that come in, and they were very strong Chevrolet and Buick owners. And, you know, that's the same conversation they tend to have. They feel like they're ready to step up just a little bit more. And I I think that Cadillac really says that as a brand. 
Well, it's 2020, so it's time people stepped up to a Cadillac, right? <laughs> That's right. And we want you to come over to Bayway Cadillac of the Woodlands. We're just right at 45 North, and the cross street is 242. And um, we've got you know our new facility up and running. We have a great pre-owned department. We sell all makes and models of vehicles, you know, from your Ford Focus to your Maseratis, you know, depending on what you're looking for. And, you know, we just want to let everybody know that we are here. And we've got six other locations connected to us. So that allows us to even transfer other brands and other makes and models straight here, you know, right to you here in the Woodlands. And we do pick up and delivery as well. Well, okay. And can they test <laughs> drive at the event? They sure actually, you know what, that is something we need to touch about and see if that's something that we can do because that would be really exciting, wouldn't it? Well, I know, Laurel, <laughs> you were telling me about the, um, you guys currently have a promotion going on right now if they test drive before the event, right? That's right. Oh, and, and thank you for, I was just about to get into that. We do. If you do come out to Bayway Cadillac, ask for Laurel Williams and you'll get two free tickets to Taste of the Town Ooh. just for coming out and test driving with me. So that's a definitely, definitely nice prize that you can get just for coming out and doing a test drive. And who knows, you might just leave with something new. <laughs> you just might. It's happened to me before. <laughs> Go in just to look. <laughs> Go in just to look and end up driving a new vehicle. You never know. Temptation is very strong. Especially when you see all those nice, pretty, shiny new models. Clean. Yeah, <laughs> smells good. They are you open colors. it up That's and you right. have that leather smell. You know, it's it's wonderful. Well, I'm very excited. What uh, food are you excited about tasting? Oh, all of it. Wouldn't you? Oh yes, <laughs> I definitely. I, I'll everything. be right there, right in the front and center. You'll see me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. I don't have a particular one that I'm really, really um, eager. I'm such a foodie, and this is this is really more fun for me than anything else. I love to go anywhere where I can enjoy, you know, great food, meet a lot of people, and get to look at a lot of really nice cars. Of course, you know that Cadillac has to bring in. Are you going to bring your partner, Ronnie? You know what? I, I'm working on that. So Good. I'm hoping she, she needs can, to she come. get to the event, too. I know. I'll be sure to admit, let her know that as well. <laughs> Tell her I'll be looking for her. I so, sure will. I will definitely mention that. <clears throat> well, I appreciate your general manager, and I appreciate you all getting involved in uh, being a presenting sponsor. I think it's going to up your game, and people will take notice of all the different models that Bayway Cadillac has to offer. So I, uh, we only have a short time. I mean, today is the 6th, and that's the 16th, mm -hmm. so 10 yeah, days. Yeah, 10 days away. 10 mm -hmm. days away. So That is so true. Anything else you'd like to add, or what's the best way to connect with you? Um, well, there's several different ways. I always give my cell number out. Um, that I would love to speak with each and every one of you that may have questions about our inventory, our new Cadillacs. Um, we have pre-owned certified. They come with a six-year, 100,000 mile warranty that's extended through Cadillac and of course we've got several make and models of automobiles and Bayway has been around for over 25 years and is a family-owned business and we're all about giving back so you can reach me at 281-224-3666 or you can also email me at lwilliams at baywaycadillac.com and of course you can always reach out to Margie yeah that's right <laughs> and, and Margie will definitely give the information on. that's right she sure will she sure will and, and I'm all over social media as well you can also reach us through our social media on Instagram and um, on Facebook wonderful well we look forward to seeing you on january 16th and getting your your wonderful beautiful cars lined out at the waterway marriott and of course we're going to have to share a bite have a drink do something fun Absolutely. like that because this is taste of the town mm -hmm. that's why we're there so that's what it's all about <laughs> i appreciate it laurel we will talk to you later then and oh by the way <laughs> hope to see you on wednesday at the vip event Yes, I am looking very forward to that. And always a pleasure, Margie. Thank you so much for having us. Okay, I'll see you Wednesday. Thank you. Bye. Okay, that's exciting. So I also want to talk about, we haven't talked about volunteerism. Yes, we, need we need volunteers. We need a lot of volunteers to carry this off, don't we? Yes, there are so many different volunteer opportunities for this event. Um, it's huge. It's a community event. As we mentioned before, this is the 34th year that we've been hosting Taste of the Town. Um, we're all about the community and, and showcasing it. And there are going to be 3,000 people. So, you know, not just a couple people can, can run the event. It takes a whole 
whole bunch. Um, we have a lot of volunteer opportunities available. If you go to the Chamber's website and the event's Facebook page, Taste of the Town 2020, uh, we have a link to a Sign Up Genius. That's where you can go ahead and pick your shift. We have a lot of shifts available. Um, we have them broken down into two time slots. Uh, the first one begins at 3.30, and you'll, then you'll do half of that. And then the next one begins, I believe, around 6.30. Um, but we need volunteers for ticket scanners. We need volunteers for check-in, welcomers, greeters. Um, we need floaters going around asking if the restaurants need any help, if they need more ice. I need a mini-me. Right? <laughs> Multiple <laughs> mini-me's. <laughs> We need um, volunteers to help that morning. Um, helping, at the dock. Yes, at the dock. And loading. All these helping restaurants, the restaurants. Yes, they have to bring in all their equipment, all of their, their warmers, their ovens, Their everything. decor, because they want to win the best booth. Yes, we have that this year as well. Last year was our first year doing it. Um, so this will be the second year we'll be offering a best decorated booth. Uh, that is where anybody can decorate a booth um, that is participating in it. So it's not just the restaurants. But last year it was Johnny's Italian Steakhouse. They always bring out a beautiful display of an ice sculpture and it really showcases what they're all about at their establishment. It's a great warm feeling whenever you go up to their booth. Um, and they won last year. So we'll see who will be the, the second winner for that. So, um, yes, we need volunteers bringing all of that equipment as well. And um, speaking from a past volunteer uh, at Like Events, it's just exciting. It's it's fun. The flourish of activity. Everybody's the happy. Energy, absolutely. Except for us. Uh, and, and you also We're get schizo. to uh, <laughs> grab a bite here and there. So it's, it's, it's true. It's worth the, There's lunch yep. also for volunteers. Yes. It's worth the opportunity. Who's sponsoring lunch? Do we have a sponsor? We'll find out on Thursday. Okay. It will be a surprise. Right. It will be a surprise. <laughs> the best kind. <laughs> yes. So again, uh, volunteer sign up. It's also, uh, if you go to Facebook on Taylorized PR, it's on there as well. I shared it on there and I'll share it on Conroe Culture News in a little bit. So we need help uh, prior to the event, helping on doing dock support. We need uh, people helping to, tick to scan the tickets. We need greeters, uh, help at the VIP booth floaters people just jump in and help out where needed when needed you know because there's a lot going on so again uh, it's january 16th 49 at the waterway marriott and it, it's such a great event it is the weather might be a little iffy but don't let that stop you you're inside you can get free parking and stay out of the rain i'm just mm -hmm. saying that right now you can park, park over there by the uh, woodlands pavilion and go up to the fourth floor third floor and take the corridor um, over and you're out of the rain. Mm -hmm. So, but who ever really pays attention to the weather forecast? Not when you have all that food you waiting just, for you. I mean, you never know. Uh, so it will be great. I mean, it'll be a little cooler. It's not going to be hot and muggy. It'll be so warm and cozy. It will on the be inside. wonderful. Yeah, you don't have to worry about your jacket, especially yeah. if you park at the pavilion because you're all inside and. Mm -hmm. You just want to be comfortable as you're going and grazing from booth to booth, And right? wear your stretchy pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Wear your stretchy pants. So um, what are we missing? Anything else? And tell me how you got involved in food blogging. Uh, I have enjoyed and loved writing my whole life. Uh, coming from an IT security background where I do a lot of, of writing, uh, and my love of food coupled with that, it just seemed a natural progression. Uh, my, my parents owned restaurants when I was little, uh, so food has just been a handshake to me my whole life. Um, coming into the, uh, where we are now for my blogging, um, a group of us ladies got together um, about two years ago, and we founded a food group called Cypress Area Eats. Uh, it is based on food and fellowship, and I, my other two founders with me are Nancy and uh, Lauren, and just a great group of ladies uh, with the same like focus to bring people together through food and fellowship, and uh, more importantly, to help support the community. Maybe they'd like to come, too, to the event. Absolutely. I'm positive that they we will. We can get them tickets. That would be fantastic, and they <laughs> would be appreciative. Um, but you just uh, supporting the local mom and pops, uh, you know, they, they need that platform um, for which to take reviews, to, to let people know how they're doing, what they're doing. Uh, and, and in return, the community support them. That's how we build our foundation. So, 
And you're beyond Cyprus as well. You do Absolutely. a lot of different areas. It has that name, but you, I, believe, I know you've been at Citizens Grill. Yes. No, I believe food has no boundaries. <laughs> um, my husband is an international chef, uh, Chef Elias Ishida. And uh, so we do not believe in boundaries. Uh, the basis of the group, even though it's called Cyprus Area Eats, uh, where people in the Cyprus community have a love of food and share that like experience together. They can blog about food from anywhere they go, whether it's Louisiana or whether they take a visit to China or Sweden. It, it doesn't matter. If, uh, if you love food, share it. There you go. And it's all about the pictures, too. All the images years. and what it looks like. <laughs> and that's why it's important when your food is being judged by y'all on Thursday, the 16th, yes. is what the appearance is, the smell, the mm -hmm. overall feeling. I mean, it could taste wonderful, but... You know, you kind of go, uh, if it's not put it's together. Yes. That is correct. Yes. And I, I do love a good appearance. <laughs> yes, of course. I think my family has uh, positively learned by now, don't touch your food until I'm done. <laughs> do you take pictures when you're making food at home? I do. <laughs> I do. Uh, I, I stick with my, uh, my own philosophy that you eat with your eyes first. And when I even present to my family, whether it's uh, my husband or my mom or my daughter, it's, it's all about how it looks. So, yes, I do. Guilty. And there's a certain way you can take <laughs> pictures, too, for yes. them to come out right. Yes. It's, a fun, it's been a fun progression uh, along the past few years. Um, my husband got me a wonderful uh, camera for Christmas last year and an extended lens for my birthday. So that has really taken my food photography to another level. And it's not so much about what I can do, but it's about what I can showcase uh, to demonstrate that eating local is, is a good thing. So it's you'll be taking lots of pictures at the event. Oh, absolutely. I think last year... Um, at the same event, I, I took maybe over a thousand pictures. Wow. And then it's a matter of dwindling down, which ones do I showcase? Right. Yes. So yeah. happily, though, love it. I know Carrie did a whole video that's been featured on the Woodlands Chamber website under mm -hmm. Taste of the Town, and that's been going out a little bit circulating as well. Yes. And that's sometimes a video, uh, videography is sometimes a, a good avenue and venue for which to collaborate all those pictures together in one mm -hmm. place. Um, uh, you know, technology has its limitations and it also has <clears throat> its uh, limitless boundaries. So I think Carrie's spot on. I may stay, take that Everybody idea. Everybody comes together collaboratively. That's right. And That's right. Perfect, you know. because if you've never been and you, you're hearing us talk about it for the past hour, just go to mm -hmm. It's just fun. Org. I'm hungry right now. This is the That's lunch right. hour. <laughs> That's right. So, Dick, are you going to the event? Maybe. You've been before. Yes. So it's great. And I want to uh, thank all of our restaurants. We have over 40 that are going to be coming out. And what people um, don't realize is that every single restaurant that participates is a current member of our chamber. Um, so we have over 1,500 members. Um, we are a membership-based organization, so we thank them for that. Um, even our sponsors, every mm -hmm. single person that participates in Taste of the Town that has a booth that is represented at the event is a member of our chamber. So it's very exciting that we could showcase our members. The whole reason why we host this event is to create more marketing and networking opportunities. That's one of our four core functions that we strive to achieve at the chamber. And we feel as if we achieve that by mm -hmm. hosting Taste of the Town. We bring in 3,000 people. We get to showcase the restaurants in the community. It's a fun event. Eat here. Who doesn't like here. eating? It's a delicious event. <laughs> it is a delicious, inspiring it is. event. It is. It's so much fun. It's a lot of work. We started planning this Spring? Did we ever stop from last year? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm always thinking. but yes. uh, Yeah, around the springtime we do. Spring, yeah. But you, you mentioned it best uh, early in the beginning. Um, it, do make your selection of who you want or the more popular booths first. Um, those vendors do tend to draw long lines. So they do. Knock those out and then try everyone else. Take little bites. Ugh. If you it's so, it's so <laughs> you easy to that. say. <laughs> Did we decide on the plates? Did we do that? We didn't do that this, this year? year. Okay. All right. Well, that's something to look forward to next year. Yeah, having possibly some for kind 2021. Of plates and all that. Yep. So if somebody's interested, you know, there's an opportunity right there to get your name out. Talk to myself. Talk yep. to Megan. Um, new vendors, new sponsors. It yeah, just and there's going to be the grow. chocolate and wine, too. If you haven't tasted that, mm -hmm. seriously. Sign me up. <laughs> chocolate infused with wine in six different varieties. One of them is like a ding dong. That's Ooh. what it reminds me Ooh. of. Imagine a ding dong, the same size, only instead of cream, you got wine in there. Okay. 
So it's good with coffee. It's good in the morning. <laughs> It's a breakfast cake. So there's no alcohol involved, by the right. way. It, the alcohol's gone, but you still have the taste. The flavor. The yep. flavor and all of that. So, again, I, I'm here with Megan, and uh, she is with the Woodlands Chamber. She does all the events. She has another event coming up after this. What's your next one? We, have, a lot. Uh, we have a health and wellness coming up in um, in May, and we have a job fair that will come up in April. Um, there's always events. There's always the something you can get involved mm-hmm. with and volunteer with. And you don't have to be a chamber member to volunteer for this event, by no, the way. Let not. me mention that. And then we have Meta, and Meta will be there. She'll be one of the judges, and you can meet Meta, find out how you can get involved with what she's got going on. She's a food blogger. And, of course, I will be there um, from the beginning to the end. And that's the end of our show for today. So I'm Margie Taylor. This is sponsored by Roger Stein Chiropractic. Go to tasteofthetown.org.